Blackjack is one of the most popular table games in casinos around the world and is really quite easy to play. There are different variations which we have available. I'll show you how to play the most common version. Blackjack is dealt from a shoe and is simply where each player's hand total tries to beat the dealer's hand. You begin by placing a wager in the designated box. Once all wagers have been placed, the dealer will announce no more bets and begin the hand. Each player will have two cards dealt to their box in sequence while the dealer will receive one card. This is called the initial deal. The player now has two cards from which they need to make a decision to stand, which means to receive no more cards, or hit, which means to receive one or more cards. The way a player achieves this is by tapping the table with their finger behind the box to receive a card, or waving across behind the box to stand. The individual card totals are shown on their face. For example, a picture card counts as 10, a 7 as a 7, etc. This would mean a picture card and a 7 would be a total of 17. There is one exception to this rule, however, which is the ace, which can be counted as 1 or 11. For example, an ace match with a 4 would mean the player has a total of 5 or 15. An ace match with a 10 or any picture card is the ultimate hand a player can achieve. It is from this hand the game gets its name, Blackjack. It is only this hand that is paid at different odds, which are 3 to 2. All other wages are paid at even money. As mentioned previously, Blackjack is the best hand. Now let's look at how the other hands rank. Any three or more cards that total 21 form the next highest hand. For example, a 9 plus a 2 plus a picture card would be one version. An 8 plus a 3 plus a picture card would be another. After this total, they work their way down from 20 to 12. 12 is the minimum total a player can stand on, but remember, this total can still win. The dealer must draw on 16 and stand on 17 after all the players have made their decisions. If after this, the dealer busts, all hands are paid. If the dealer draws a total of 17 or over, any player's hands that are less than the dealer's total lose. Any that are equal to the dealer's hands are a tie or a standoff, and if the player's total is higher, they win. You may also choose to wager on another player's box or boxes when you are playing. So if you think your friend or the person next to you is lucky, you may try to share in their luck on the table. It is important to remember that your wager is bound by the player's decision on how they play their hands. There are a few other options available to the player which we will now explain. After the initial deal, a player may choose to double down. This simply means you can match either your whole wager or part of your original wager but you only receive one additional card from the dealer. It is important to remember, however, that if an ace is included in these first two cards, doubling is not permissible. The other option available is a split. This simply means if you receive any two cards with the same point value, you may match your original wager and then split this hand, which basically means you now have two hands with which to play. You may play these two hands as any normal hand. If you receive another card of the same total, you may choose to split again to form three hands. These hands are now played like any other hand where you can choose to stand, draw, or double. If you receive two aces, however, you are only allowed to split once for a total of two hands, and you may not draw any additional cards. If you are dealt a 10 on either of these aces, the hand total is 21 only and not blackjack. If you like the idea of splitting, there is an additional wager which may choose to play called a peers bet. As the name indicates, you are hoping to receive two cards of equal value on the initial deal. If you achieve a peer, you will receive a payout on your peer wager. These are the basics and hopefully it is enough to help you understand and get started on the game of blackjack. If you have any further questions, please don't hesitate to ask any of our friendly table game staff. Alternatively, head to Christchurch Casino's website where all games are explained on our Learn to Play section.